Welcome back to Golf Simulator Videos. We're back today with the putt view, indoor putting green, to show you guys some putting drills. All right, so if you haven't seen our first look video of the putt view system, this is the P7 Plus. Check out our first look video. We showed you guys the assembly, showed you all kinds of different features. We even did a screen recording on the tablet that allows you to control the whole system. Make sure you check it out. I'll put the link in the description and pin it to the top of the comments. And if you guys are looking for a putt view system, I managed to work out some special discounts for my viewers. My email is in the description and comments as well. Make sure you send me an email. They have been treating my viewers awesome and you can get into a system yourself. You can either get the P7, P7 Plus. They have larger greens, commercial greens, custom greens, you name it. It's really, really awesome. So, but today we're going to talk about some putting drills. So what's nice is, is I've had some, you know, several viewers reach out and asking me about different things, how I'm using it. Okay. The different features that are available. And I wanted to kind of segment those out to show you guys, you know, in a bunch of short videos, try to keep them under 15 minutes or so. So here I'm going to show you some putting drills that I've been actually working with my swing coach. All right. Using the putt view system. And he actually said that he would do a putting video with me and we'll have that coming up soon um, to kind of go through a putting lesson and how to use the putt view system to improve. But I want to show you guys a few of the key drills that we've been working on to help improve parts of my putting game. Okay, these putting drills I think are really helping me improve my putting and I'm going to show you kind of how I use the visual cues and then I take them away and that way I can apply this outdoor in real life. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to bring up to you guys is what I have on the green right now. So there's three different lines. The bottom line is called a baseline. So that's a direct line from where you're hitting the ball to the cup. All right. Now the middle line, that's an ideal line. Now the ideal line can change based on the pace that you're trying to play. I currently have it set for a foot past the hole. You can take that up to like three feet past the hole. So if you're really trying to carry pace to the hole, that's obviously going to change. It's going to turn a little more of a straight line. Okay. And if you slow that down to where it barely got into the hole, then it's going to increase that break line a little bit. All right. More of a curve. And then this top line is actually your aiming line. And when I talk to a lot of professionals, what they're telling me is, is that the aiming line, one of the most important lines are something that uh, some people either fall off on or just don't quite, they, they can't visualize. And this allows you to get that feeling and to allow that putter face to be square to the aiming line and let the pace and the break do its work. And I'm really understanding what they're saying now, now that I'm using this system. So let's give you guys a couple examples. All right, uh, I have three balls here. I'll kind of put them off to the side. I have ball tracking on. Um, now, if I wanted to, I'm actually logged into the cloud. You can actually have sessions where it will track how many balls you make. If you're make, if you're missing them left or right or, or long or short, all those different things. It's really, really cool. That's a cool feature. Uh, maybe we'll show that in a whole segment on its own. And then what's nice is, is I like these setup lines. It gets me comfortable with where I need to be. Um, we've kind of changed some things in my setup, having the ball a little further for forward in my stance, and it allows me to get comfortable now. And uh, let's see if we can make one of these. I have my putter face nice and square to the aiming line. I can look at that ideal line, okay? And there it is. So I carry just a little more pace, all right, above that line, either with my aim or pace, all right, you'll see that I actually was above the line there and I managed to make that putt. Let's see if we can hit another one here. Now, what's interesting is, is the putter face is really the most important thing. If you talk to most putting instructors, what I have taken away from what they tell me, there's another one, fantastic. I'm actually gonna miss one so you guys can understand what happens. Um, is that the putter face angle is, is one of the most important things. Yes, you know, the angle of attack and all these different, you know, things, but on just an eight foot putt, if your putter face is off by more than a degree, you're going to miss the putt. And I thought that was really interesting. And I think that's on a straight flat putt. Don't hold me to that. Answer me uh, or correct me in the comments if you like. Um, you know, I, I'd love to hear the precise number, but uh, I think that's what it is. Um, which is, is really enlightening, you know, and maybe we can even bring our GC quad out here and we can set it on the green and we can look at some putter face data, but let's go ahead and just miss this below the hole. All right. Now it just kind of gives a representation of how that putt just started offline and it actually tracks it and it's actually going to put it on a map. So if I kept missing things to the left, it's actually going to track that. You can see that because it's highlighted the ball. 
Okay, so I just wanted to give you guys a, a quick indication of how that works. Now I wanna show you what you can do once you get comfortable with these putts, all right? You have your setup position, all right? You're used to the, the aim line and the pace and everything. What you can do is actually hit your hide all button, okay? Now what's that gonna do? It's gonna take everything away. It's an easy one hit button to where now you can go up and you have to set yourself up yourself, all right? You have to figure out your own aim line, you have to figure out your own setup. And this is how I feel this really, you know, transitions to taking this outdoor is because now I have to do this all on my own. And let me tell you, it's a game changer when there's nothing there. It shows you how much these visual cues really, really help. So let's see if we can do something here with this. Sure enough, what do I do? I, I mean, between my pace and my aim, I take that thing way high of the hole. I sink the first two like it's nothing. And then here I am with no visual cues and I'm missing a putt. All right, let's see if I can correct that a little bit. Kind of visualizing that, that ideal line again. And that's what you wanna be able to do is go outside and look at a break and visualize an ideal line, just like it shows you here. There it is. All right, so a little correction and then sure enough. Now, I could show you guys real quick have that same miss that I hit before. I'm gonna to try to take some pace off. Why don't I aim a little higher, take some pace off, see if I can slow roll this in the hole. Oh, and so now I'm playing a different break. And so without that ideal line, I'm forcing myself to change my pace. And I think that's something that just really applies in everyday putting. You know, you can sit outside, you can look at your break, okay? And then you're going to start visualizing this aiming line and you're going to be able to, you know, visualize that putt carrying that ideal line. Just some really cool things. Now there's one other thing I want to show you that I've been using uh, that is one of the best. There's drills on here, okay? Putting drills under the practice session. We were just under the professional section, just so you guys understand. Now I'm gonna go under the practice session, okay? And I'm gonna go under drills. And I'm gonna go under rolling balls too. I think that's the one I've been using a lot. Yep, there it is. Okay, now if I wanted to, I could put my setup on there, okay? Or I could take it away. And I'm sorry, I'm actually, uh, I put it on right and left there, but, um, but this is some basic visual cues. Okay, so let's go ahead and just set this up. This is a two foot putt, and what it is, is it's a rolling ball feature. Okay, it's just kind of showing you where that ball needs to go. So I'm gonna be forced to get myself in my own setup. And then I'm gonna try to carry that line that I'm seeing. And what's cool about this, and I'd like to point out some more facts that I've, I've uh, actually been reading online. So it's actually the putts within about eight feet that can actually lower scores the most. People aren't missing all of the 15 or 20 foot putts. Like those aren't the putts that you can hold all the time. It's these putts right here that are so important. And believe it or not, it's the two, three, four, five footers that give you confidence in these short putts that people often, whether it be they yip them or you know they leave them short or hit them too fast because they're so nervous it's a short putt and they don't want to miss it. Let's see if we can make this three footer. Now I feel like this is a, a, a minimal uh, visual cue, but it's enough to get you thinking. I have to set myself up on my own. Now notice it's tracking all these and it's automatically adjusting every time. I, I really only need one ball to do this. Um, I, I could be leaving him in the hole if I wanted to, etc. cetera. Um, now it takes me out to four feet. Now notice this, notice those balls are rolling on a break, but notice they're all in a straight line. And that just shows you that I'm playing this break every time. It's forcing me to get my setup correct, all right? See if we can make this four footer. Very nice, very nice. I'll leave that in the hole. I'll show you guys how you can just kind of use the balls that you have. All right, and you can keep going. So now, see if we can make this one. All right, we're getting a little faster, a little more of a break. I kind of like the, like I said, this is just a little, little sprinkle of a visual cue to kind of give you an idea Oh, and a lip out. And now I'll show you how this works. So it's going to lock onto that ball. 
I'm going to be able to grab my other ball. I'm still on the five foot putt. And now let's see if we can make this. Once again, if I was tracking this session, it would all be in the cloud. Let's see if we can make this. There it is. A little more pace. That was right at the bottom of the hole. All right. And I can go through and do these. And what it does is it forces you, and I think these are the putts that people might not practice enough. You know, that little three footer. Listen, I've been at my club playing in different events and it doesn't matter what kind of event you're playing in. If you have a three, four foot putt and it means something, you, you, need, to, you need to putt it out. They're not going to give it to you. You know, I mean, I've had to putt little tiny putts before, you know, uh, and I think that that's, that, hey, that's what you should do. And uh, you need to be good at them. You know, I mean, no one wants to miss a three or four foot putt when it means something, all right, when they're playing in an event. And uh, this, is, this takes you out of that everyday comfort zone. I think that when most people go out to a putting green, they go out and they just start lining up 10, 15 footers, you know, and that might give you an idea of the pace of that, of that course you're playing that day. But, you know, it's all these that are inside of 10 feet, eight feet that are really going to lower scores. So I think, I hope at least that this was a great example of some putting drills that I've found that the putt view indoor putting green system really helps you work on your game. Okay. I hope it was a good demonstration of those putting drills. Um, I'd love you guys to comment below and let me know what you think. Okay. I'd love you to suggest anything else you'd like to see. I've actually been doing a couple little short videos as well. Follow us on Instagram. Okay. I've been doing little things that I've been finding. You know, I showed people right breaks and left breaks, you know, the other day. So make sure you follow on Instagram as well for little uh, short videos. Okay. And we'll keep doing these putt view videos and, and filling you guys in on more and more that it has to offer right here on YouTube. So make sure you subscribe. Okay. And like I said, if you're interested in the putt view system, my email is in the description and pinned to the top of comments. Just go ahead and shoot me off an email. I'll connect you with the managing partner. Those guys are amazing over there. And they can do pretty much everything you want. If you want to turn your whole basement into a custom putting green and it has the space that allows it, they'll help you do it. It's really cool. As always, I really appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for a lot more from Putt View. We'll talk to you soon.